Well, hi, I hope you're ready for an exciting, physically challenging time today. I'm going to get you warmed up in a minute. This story that I am hoping you know because it is just, in so many ways, a sensational story. It uh, feeds into your sense of smell and your sense of imagination. I am assume that sense of imagination works for you and of course sight and of course the ways we work together so first thing we're going to do is uh, tell you what the story is i think that's fair it's called and was initially called the gingerbread man it was first found or first published i like to say in 1875 that was a long time ago uh, and it doesn't really ever say in anything i found who the author is and in case you don't know the story it's about a cookie who is trying to get away from the inevitable or the inedible he really doesn't want to be eaten he wants to run away so i think that it's a funky story and kind of you know the ending um and i like to tell it because everybody knows the ending and they you can watch people just get so excited because they know they know what's going to happen to that cookie. And when you know what's going to happen to that cookie, you can almost taste it. That's how exciting that story is. So first, how do you make cookies? Well, cookies that we don't eat. And that would be something that we can use to tell the story over and over again. But first, let me say I have told this story with real gingerbread cookies. And the cool part about that is you get to pretend to be the fox and you get to eat the cookie in the end. But just in case you don't have gingerbread cookies around, you might have an old box, and I will show you that in a second. But what if you don't have a gingerbread cookie box? Because truth told, they're usually only available around the holidays at the end of December for some odd reason, which is too bad because ginger is great for you. So anything made with ginger is good. Um, if and you want to read the story, I should. I should always do this. This is the uh, one of the versions by a great author named Paul Galdon. And what is lovely about him is that he does all of his own pictures. Now, the other great memory piece about this is it's very repetitive, which means that after a while, everybody tells the story together. And that I'll teach you how to run with your feet, and unless you can even jog up and down. In case you haven't recognized where we are, we're in my studio. I just got back into my studio after fixing it up. So I wanted you to be with me. And you could certainly glance around and see all the crazies that go on here. So a box, a box, a box. We are going to tell the story with uh, everything that uh, is available in boxes and different kinds of cookies even. Uh, so one of our best kinds of things to do is to take a box from the most favorite thing you eat. So I happen to like every once in a while, not all the time, I'll, I'll be quite honest, really healthy things. So I have found this box. I'm not going to go for the, I can put my name over the product because it's not about that, but look who eats that product. It's me. So could we tell a story about us using boxes? Sure, because look what happens. Put your hand inside. Oh, it's movable. I will put my arm over that product. There we go. There we are. We're blowing your kiss. So how do I do that? I take a picture. Put it on the box. Take some of these cool bread fasteners here if you've got them, because that means the arms can move around. It can even give you a much needed hug. So that's one way to tell this story, but this is not a story about the puppeteer who ran away so that um, she could have her dinner on time. That's not her, that's not her story today. This is about a gingerbread boy, but who does the gingerbread boy run from? Mm -hmm. Runs from, in our story, three characters. And what is wonderful about the story is you don't need the same characters. You can run from whatever you want. For example, if you want, you could run from a cow. And perchance you have seen this critter before, because I've made him, I use him in lots of my stories. Cows are great. And what do cows do? Cows give milk. 
So you take that milk carton. And if you don't drink milk, you can use whatever kind of container you drink from. Even a water bottle, that makes great because water bottles give water. Well, not really, but I think, oh, uh oh, this cow must have jumped over the moon and landed on its head. So there you go. Here's a cow head. If and you don't have a cow head around, you can do a uh, camera shoot right there. Put it on a piece of paper. What's on the back? The cap. Put it all together and you have a puppet. Puppet, as you should know by now, is anything that moves and you make speak. So what does a cow say? I heard you. The cow says moo. Well, the cow is in her story. She is going to sit right here so I can reach her. I may move her later just in case I can't see you over my stage. That would be no fun at all. So our gingerbread boy or man or girl, or maybe we'll just call her Ginger, is going to run away from a cat. So great cat stories available to us. But for today, we're going to take a box of cat food. If you don't have a box of cat food, you can use any kind of box. You could even use a cup turned upside down. And then what you do is, I'm going to show you my decorated cat because I use her a lot. And uh, so here she is, decorated cat. She's got a nice soft, fussy face. And uh, when the gingerbread boy meets the cat, the cat does not say, stop, I want to eat you. The cat says, meow. You got it, meow. And then you can interpret whatever the cat says. What if the cat says, mm, why don't you sit down and have a cup of tea? Doesn't matter, because what you do, the teller of the story is, you tell us, meow, 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 what it means. So here is the cat. We're gonna put the cat right here. So we have one cow that says, got it, and one cat that says, perfect. Now we do have a dog. I love to make these dogs. They're made out of paper plates. But if you only use fine china or fine plasticware, you can make this dog out of any kind of box. If you have a dog and you have a dog food box that you feed your dog from, it makes a great puppet, right? Because this is our box creation. Thinking in the box here. So what we do, I'm not even going to show you how to make it. I'm going to show you it is done. Here is a plate and a half. Got it? And folded. Folded. Remember, a plate and a half. Plate and a half. Why? It's where your hand goes. If you want to make a cat like this, instead of having these floppy ears, you put them up instead. If you want to have a bunny, a bunny would be great to chase the cookie, right? <laughs> because the bunny can hop. Then you can make the cookie hop too. Now we have a body, and here he is. What does a dog say? Got it. So if the dog wanted to say something different, then woof, maybe you want to say earth or bow wow. You could do that because you are telling the story. So what I'm going to do, and the cat, excuse me, do you mind? I'm going to put this dog just so I can reach him. I'm just going to take him out right next to you. Gotcha. All right. So now, now you're saying to me or somebody, mom, dad, whoever is sitting around the table with me, best friend, Susie, my mom doesn't let me eat cookie. What should I do? I say to you, use something else. For example, later on today, when I have time, I am going to make my favorite vegetable. Mm -hmm. Now, if you put your imagination inside of this favorite vegetable of mine, which is a butternut squash. Maybe the butternut squash says to you, wait a minute, I don't want to be eaten. So why couldn't the squash run away? Look at the, look at how that butternut squash can run, how awesome. But what does, oh, it's got a label on it. We're gonna leave it on there for now. But, but what doesn't it have? Uh-huh, uh-huh, it doesn't have eyes. So I'm gonna take my funky, funky eyes and I'm going to make my squash have the ability to chat with me by peeling off one and then peeling off. I'm actually gonna make kind of match today. Sometimes I make them so they don't match, see what happens? 
I even like the ones after they're all emptied out. So I'm thinking this squash needs a lovely face. Oh, look at its hair. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so what if I was about to put my squash in the oven and it said, don't eat me. And I said, excuse me, I'm in charge here. And the squash says, no, no, no. You can run, run, run as fast as you can. You can catch me. I'm the butternut squash until I catch him. And then I squash him. So do you need cookies? No, you can use vegetables. Cereal would be great. Cereal or celery. Celery would be great because it's got that green hair up there. Okay, enough, enough chit chat here. What else do I need to tell you this? Oh, I think I'm going to surprise you with my dude because he is quite one of my favorite characters. But last thing, if you, when you meet the gingerbread boy, man, girl, or ginger, what you will see is that his mouth opens and closes so that he can talk to you. I, I, I'm very fond of that possibility. So these boxes don't have that ability, but with a little imagination, not a lot, just a little, and maybe help from a friend, mm -hmm. you can take one of these and you open it up. Envelope, open. Now our hand can make a chat, right? You could say, you can run, run, run as fast as you can, but you can't catch me. I'm a hand. Hands and feet, you right? Gingerbread. So what I did was I just took the flap, I put it in. Now I'm going to stretch it out a bit, and then I'm going to fold it over. Gotcha. All right. Now, all by itself, this is the mouth that checks. You can run, run, run as fast as you can. You can catch me on the envelope. Cares about catching an envelope unless it's going to fly over with the U.S. Postal Service. That would be cool. Is that what you're going to do? Nope. Oh. So what do I do? I put it into something. Now, a little imagination and a lot of really good, healthy, maybe you like oatmeal. So you take out the bottom and the top, which I did not do. And I could do that for you. But I want to tell you the story with you. So what I'm going to do is just do this. Take off the top. I eat on my own. It's good. You put this dude all the way through. All, all the way through. So it comes out here. And I'm going to show you what it would look like if I cut up my oatmeal box, which I'm not going to do today. But look at that. This, when you open up the end here, when you don't even have to decorate it, because you know this is an oatmeal box. The oatmeal oftentimes comes in these great canister looking things, and now they're paper. So think about a talking oatmeal box. So what could you tell? What kind of story? You can run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the oatmeal cookie. Why not? All right, oatmeal. I'm putting you down here. And I, oh yeah. Yeah, I have to introduce you to him because I don't want you to be surprised. You know what happens? The very end of our story. I live near this great, beautiful body of water called Lake Michigan. It's about a mile away. So we're going to run that way. And when we get there, we have to figure out how to get across. So we're going to have help. Mm -hmm. And the help comes in a sneaky sort of fellow, quite beautiful. And you will recognize him, her, I don't know, because he'll be wearing a red hat. And I put a mask, which is very important to remember, a mask on the front of his face. So when I put it on, you may not see me, but I'll be back there. And I will be dressed as a foxy lady. Okay, you can do the same thing with just a hat. Hats work just fine. We have our gingerbread boy. Oh, yes, the part of the old lady. That'll be played by me, because that's how we start our story. So, told you we have to get into shape. So, we're going to do some puppet aerobics. I'm going to move my cow over just a little bit so you can see. That's good. I want you to take your hands. 
stretch them out. We're gonna do early morning wake up call. So I want you to put one of your hands up here and one down here. And at the count of three, it's a good number, I want you to wake up your puppets and uh, join me in some very, very important puppeteer exercises called puppet aerobics. Ready, set. One, two, three, pump it up, stretch to the sky, shake it out, looks good. First exercise is called puppet push-ups, go. Oh, oh, oh. That's, oh, that's great, okay. Stand those puppets up, touch their toes, looking good, all right. Now, put those puppets on your backs, take a deep puppet breath. And now we're gonna do 10 setups. Count with me, any language, if you please, go. Don't forget to breathe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, jumping jacks and jills. Oh, that's a good. And we have one more. It's called a rollover. Watch your nose. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Get a little back bend in there. Come on down. Excellent work. Give yourself some applause. Stretch it out just a little bit more and get ready for our story. Once upon a time, there was an old lady, and she was really lonely, and I'm going to tell you why. Oh, everyone in her family had grown up and moved happily away until they visited. This particular day, nobody was around. So she said to herself, I know one really good way to get people to come and knock on my door. I am going to make cookies. So she took out her favorite bowl. And she took out her favorite spoon and she started to make cookies. Ah, I think I will make the most odoriferous, fantastical, beautiful smelling cookies. I am going to make gingerbread cookies. So first she took out some flour and then she took out some sugar and then she put in some eggs and then of course she grated the ginger. And then she mixed the whole thing. And it got too stiff to stir. <laughs> she took that dough and put it on her table. And she rolled it out to get ready, if you please. <gasps> roll, roll, roll your cookies gently on the table. Oh, merrily, 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 merrily. I hope you wash the table. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then she cut out a cookie for every she knew in the whole entire world and that's maybe more than I can even count but she wanted everyone to have a cookie and the cookie she put oh, that big so maybe she put them a little close together and then she set the timer Bing! when the timer went off oh she looked inside the oven and said oh it's she reached inside and took out the bad news. I mean, they're perfect. I mean, it's beautifully browned and all, but they is not one. I mean, I put them too close together. So, um, I, I, but first, first we gotta see how they smell. Okay. And if, excuse me. I just gotta take a big sniff before I cut it up and give you all one. Here we go. Ow! Ow! Do you think what just happened here? Did this cookie bite me? Let me try it again. Hey, ow! Did you bite me? Yep. <gasps> did you talk to me? <gasps> what did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh, that's good. Yes, you did. You talked to me and you said, I did. I did. So, well, hi. I, are you, you're, 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 you're real. Of course I'm real. What? I, how did that happen? I don't know. I don't either, but I'm so excited because now, now you can be my buddy. You can hang out with me. I can tell you stories. We can go for walks in the woods together. Would you like that? No. You know, you're not very grateful. I don't know about grateful. I know what you want to do. What? Eat me. No, I don't. No, I mean, no, I, I know. No, I maybe before, but not now. I want you to be my buddy. Uh-uh. I don't trust you. You don't trust me? Nope. 
that's not good news. And but what are you gonna do about it? Simple. <laughs> she can't, she's, I'm gonna run away. What? I'm gonna run away. How are you gonna do that? You're a cookie. Mm -hmm. With that, the cookie began to wiggle and squiggle and squirm, jumped off the cookie tray and started to run towards her front door. And as he went, he said, hey, you can run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he went. And she raced after him. Did she catch him? No. The cookie ran and ran and ran and she went home <sighs> and made oatmeal cookies. But the cookie, the cookie kept on going. And he was a feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm running. I'm a running free. And he kept on running until he came to a dog. Now the dog was sitting on the front porch of the old woman's uh, neighbor. And when he got there, the dog said, Woof, woof. Oh, what'd you say? Woof, woof. What do you mean you're going to eat me up? Woof, woof, woof. With milk? Do dogs drink milk? Woof, woof. This dog does, said the dog. Well, you can't eat me. And besides, even if you could, you can't catch me. Woof, woof, woof. Why not, said the dog? Because I am the fastest cookie in all of Evanston, Illinois. Woof, 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 woof. The dog said, you better hurry. And with that, the cookie did. And as the cookie ran, he said, you can run, run, run as fast as you can, but you can't catch me. I am the, you got it, gingerbread man. And the dog ran after the cookie. Ooh, I run back. And as he ran, he kept on running, running. And the dog, oh, the dog is fast, but not as fast as the gingerbread man. <laughs> Way to work out. I was thought I was hot when I came from the oven, but now I'm really, really, really warm. And the cookie slowed down just a little bit and sitting on the corner waiting for the light to change was a cat. Meow. <laughs> meow yourself. Meow, meow, meow. What do you mean? Well, look at you. Meow, meow, look at you, cookie. What do you mean, who you're looking at? Meow, meow, meow. No, I don't. No, no, no. I do not taste good with milk. Well, I actually don't know. But, because uh, I never actually even had a little bite of gingerbread boy, why would I? That's me. Meow, meow, meow. No, you're not going to eat me up. I am the fastest cookie in all of Cookie County. Meow, meow. I know it's Cook County, but I'm still fast. And with that, the cat, taking one deep breath, raced after that cookie. He almost got him. He really did. He was really, really fast. He turned corners fantastically. But the cookie, the cookie had the advantage because he knew that famous chant. You can run, run, run as fast as you can. Ha, 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 ha. But you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Whoa. I am exhausted. Oh, I wish I could take a rest. Oh no. What is a cow doing walking down the street? Well, cows don't belong in this neighborhood. But this cow apparently was on her way somewhere, on her way somewhere. And the cow looked at the cookie and said, Well, moo do you too? Moo moo moo. What am I doing? I'm running away. Moo? From you, yeah. Moo, moo, moo. Why? Because you probably want to eat me too. Moo. Of course, that's what I said. Of course you want to eat me too. Everybody seems to want to do that. I don't get it. All I want to do is a little peace and quiet and run and run, run free. But you, you want to eat me, cow? Moo, 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 moo. Oh, I see. You want to give me to somebody with a nice glass of your milk. Well, that's very generous of you with your milk. But I'm the cookie that has to be eaten. So I F this to say to you, I am the fastest cookie in the United States of America. Huh. 
hard. So you can run, run, run as fast as you can, but you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And with that, the cookie took off. And the cow, the cow's a lovely cow, but kind of slow. And he, she just watched that cookie go farther and farther away. And she went back to the barn where she lived peacefully, given milk, taking care of everybody. The cookie, the cookie kept on running. The cookie was going due east. And if you go due east in Chicago, you are going to land in Lake Michigan, no matter how you splash it. And this cookie was doing really well, thinking about a nice swim, a nice swim, a run, run. Uh-oh, that's a problem. Because if a cookie jumps into the water, a cookie will get soggy. That's no good. So what am I going to do? I can't turn around. Nope. I, oh, poor me. Poor, poor me. I, what to do, what to do. I need help. So the cookie sat back with a great deal of noise, said, help. Help, 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 help me, help me. Huh? Hi. Uh, you are a fox. I'm a fox. Yeah, it makes, can you notice? I can tell by your teeth. You think a lot of teeth. Uh, uh, fox, yes. Are you hungry? No, 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 I'm never hungry. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I, I, I just, I, that's how we stay lean and lean. I never eat. That's certainly not cookies. <laughs> never eat cookies. <laughs> what, uh, what's your problem? I heard you. Were you the one yelling for help? Oh, it was, it was. I would love to help you the best I can. So what do you think? I, I, I got to get it across Lake Michigan. Whoa. What a piece of luck for you, my cookie friend. Because I'm going to be going that way. And I am a great swimmer. I do the best time in swimming. I'm the head of the box swimming team. Ooh, well, that's good. No, but wait, you're not going to eat me, are you? Cookie. Cookie, I told you. I don't eat cookies. My mama fox doesn't let me eat cookies. I, I just... I, I just want to help. Mm -hmm. So you got to trust me. I'm a fox. <laughs> yeah, trust a fox. Well, I don't have much choice. But tell you what, if you're still nervous, why don't you sit on my hat? All the way up there. Oh, let me help you. So the fox helps the cookie sit right on top of her hat and the cookie and the fox didn't well actually the fox did most of the work the fox was swimming along singing a song yard it up to the well and then we rode it along rode it along rode oh but the fox must have forgotten about the cookie because he splashed that cookie she did. ow oh oh I'm so sorry cookie he splashed me I know I heard you why you know what I forgot you were there why don't you step all the way down here, my nose, and then I can see you. Won't that be fun? And you'll have a better view, too. Hmm. You really think I should? I, I think you should. And so that's what the cookie did. The cookie climbed all the way down the fox's nose. And just as he got back to the end, the fox threw back her head. Ah! Ow! I that cookie. Oh, that was a good cookie. And that was the end of the gingerbread. But, ladies and gentlemen, cookies are meant to be eaten. And do you know who lived happily ever after? The fox. Be who you are and be the best you can be. The inevitable does oftentimes happen, even if you are a fox. Bye for now.